Why are we here? That's not astronomy. How did we get here? That is astronomy. People are curious about that. Our origins are, are just a wonderful, wonderful, but elusive story for us. So I want students to understand at a reasonably solid conceptual level what the modern model of cosmology is, the Big Bang Theory. But I also want the students to understand that the Big Bang model is not the only story. And the idea at the end of the course is to compare the Big Bang model to these cultural stories and really find out if anything is new in the Big Bang cosmology. I'm a, a professor in the Department of Classics and Bruce Bailey asked me to give a presentation in his astronomy class on the origin of the universe as seen by the ancient Greeks and I jumped at the opportunity. One of the great observations that they made and they used as their metaphor for understanding the origin of the universe was birth. And so they, using this uh, observation, they pondered about the origin of the world and then in their attempt to explain it, they, they created a narrative of a number of births that took place that resulted in the world in which we live. A secondary goal, you might say, is to bring the universality of the universe into the university by connecting astronomy and things like that to fields of study on the upper campus, where, where, the, where the social sciences and the humanities exist. When you put a humanistic investigation of mythology together with astronomy, what happens is that it allows the the ancient myths to be seen for what they were, genuine attempts at understanding the world based on observation. There's no downside to collaboration. Sharing ideas is vital to the whole academic endeavor. And you know, some of these ideas from the other cultures might enrich astronomy by dropping new ways of looking at things into the broader discussion. That's the that's where the potential is. That, that's what's so much fun.